Yeah, so in case you're just wondering like how on earth I get like inspiration for my post like this recent one for this uh the recent one which is like giving away on free five carat uh free five one carat diamond rings over one hundred thousand dollars. So how do I get information for all of these if you're just wondering? So usually what I do is like, I'm all, usually on Facebook and I do a lot of like social media monitor monitoring and I just scroll on Facebook and stuff. So one of the posts that I actually wanted to do was basically like um round up posts of like the, the best um, April Fool's jokes and stuff so this one I saw this on SK, SQKII I don't know how to pronounce that by the way so okay so I saw this and I was like thinking yes definitely so I shortlisted this as one of the posts to be taken note of so one thing curious was that after that during one of the comments and then I saw this post but sorry guys I really don't know how to pronounce it I Yuga or something like that so they were like saying that oh okay let's turn this into a real thing blah 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 so basically it happened so they were like is this a joke duh, 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 duh. so five diamonds and then duh, duh, duh. so you can see this conversation really funny conversation and that was how the hundred diamond thing was born so in other words it became a hundred diamond hunt i really don't i think this is actually a marketing strategy of marketing employer pre you know it's pre already pre-planned and stuff because you know like if you go to the website and everything's already like planned out in that sense you know like okay diamond drop here diamond drop there and all that so i'm really pretty sure or i could be wrong you know that it's already pre-planned but regardless it's a really good collaboration and that's really funny but yeah so that's pretty much how i kind of get um, my inspiration and how i search for like um news such as stuff like that so yeah but anyway good on you because this is actually a really good collaboration and a really good idea on how it works so yeah, they're going to be giving away 5 1 carat diamond rings worth over $100,000. And yeah, so that's where this post came about. And I'm writing it right now at 11.20am because I, I chanced upon this and I was like, okay, I'm going to write on it right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching for now. That's how it's done on my side. So ta-da, go read it. <laughs> I even have this. One carat is really damn big though. So yeah, just see. <laughs> now you can just sell it off for cash. Money, money, money. Yep. Of course, we don't know whether it's a legit April Fool's joke or a pre-planned marketing collaboration. Cause you know, it's kind of suspicious-ish, but oh well. But still, a good one if it's a really, it's it's really epic if this was really an impromptu one. So. Yeah, but happy hunting guys. So yeah, more details you can go read on sglifestyle.sg. Yay! So I promotion here. <laughs> Shamelessly. Chicken lessons. Soup. Yeah. Very true, um, very, very good advice. Toy toy la, you know, of course la, you never know what could happen. Hey, I still give you every month or so, okay? Hey, I give you a lot there. <laughs> but of course I know not enough to upkeep the house everything la. I hope to earn enough to be able to do that in the future. Right? Peanut butter. That's something. I realized that vlogging can be pretty hard because I've been kind of waiting for people to walk past me all the way because it's kind of awkward like holding the camera in front of me and speaking. So there was a vlogger that I was watching before and he said a thing about creating a wall or something so that you can ignore people who are walking around you and you're like being judged by talking to yourself in front of the camera. So something similar like that. So. Um, I'm kind of getting used to it, but you probably need a lot of practice because you can see uh, people walking past me, driving 
Tahasi. <laughs> and it's so damn awkward to like, okay, so I'm like, just weird talking to her now. <laughs> but yeah, okay, awkward much. I, I need to get better than this. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gonna buy a lemon. An 88 cents lemon for my video. I kind of feel like an auntie pressing lemons. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get this one. Well, since I've been to cold storage, but wow, they have loads of new things. Like all these are like ready to eat things. Oh, there's something interesting, which is a crab, chili crab mac and cheese. So it looks actually legitly pretty good. So you can microwave it or you can heat it up. Price point is five fifty. It's Daiso to just get her of it, and I found this really really cute powder brush, and it's so cute. It's two dollars as well. Dollars and it's on the display. It's so cute. My IPL session. Tea for today. Tea. <laughs> it's pretty fresh. Three, four, five more. So the twelve cupcakes is also got puffs and pies. This is a point. Mushroom cheese looks more of it, I guess, because everyone is like buying it. Seems like Red Top has launched this Oishi Japan. Spotify to download an insurance thingy. It's called Optimize. Uh, how about all a shirt and everything? So I'm supposed to get a free movie ticket. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, is this a new tactic by insurance agents? I have no idea. Let's just say you got me at free movie tickets. So I'm kind of waiting for the agent to contact me. I guess. Well, I want my movie ticket. Cheap <laughs> Thanks for watching. We can sleep like free schedule.